Hello, welcome to my workshop. My name is Chris Pine. I am going to be doing a project this week that is not really woodworking related. Uh, I don't do that a lot. Most of the time I do woodworking projects on the Chris Pine Workshop. However, it's not called the Chris Pine Wood Workshop. I have a project here I have been looking forward to ever since I saw it online. I paid for these parts and I'm going to assemble them. Um, I have the box here. First off, let's do the unboxing. You rock trash amps. All right, I am so excited. What this is, is a speaker kit for speaker in a jar. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. Trash Amps is the company that makes this. I am so looking forward to this. I am not really an electronics guy, but I think I can handle this. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Um, you have to do some soldering and some assembly on a circuit board, and what you end up with is this is the top. It'll fit down inside the jar, and then you'll have a speaker that you can use with your cord here to hook up to your iPhone or your computer or whatever. We have some pieces and parts, a couple LEDs here, uh, of course the, the jack for the cord to go in, a couple other little connectors, small screws, and then the switch here. The switch which will go, because you can switch from MP3 playing like off your phone, or it actually has an adapter. I did not get it because I don't play the guitar, but you can actually use this as a small guitar amp as well. And of course the circuit board uh, which you assemble all these pieces on. Uh, there's the speaker itself and the battery uh, compartment. I am so looking forward to this. Let's get started and see if I can handle it. Step one is to solder this jack. Uh, it's for the cord to plug into onto the circuit board which is, I've looked at the instructions, it actually even says jack on there. <clears throat> if you can see that. And it goes on like this. It just says to make sure it's flat against the board. And then you solder the back side of the pins here. The next step is to solder what they call this male header, this little piece right here, into this slot right here. This will later hook up to the speaker. Okay, the next step is to put this on the circuit board, this right angle header, they call it. It just goes on there like this. Okay. Okay, so far so good. The next step is these LEDs, and you will notice that these LEDs each have a long and a short pin. The shorter one goes into this board in the square hole, if you can see that. So they'll go in like this. Shorter goes into the square hole. And then you solder those on. Now we need to trim off the extra of these pins here. The next step is to get this toggle switch soldered onto the board like this. And I've already positioned it on there. And then you have eight different solder locations on this side of the board. Okay, the next step is to fasten the speaker to the wooden disc. And we have these small screws. I think you'll start, start them first. Start one of them first. 
slide that under there. These are the pan head screws that come with it. The next step is to take these countersunk screws. I'm going to place them in here ahead of time. Okay. The next step is that we remove these nuts off of the switch and the jack. So you want the jack to go where the, it says input and then of course the switch to go over here. The switch place. So let's just use the pliers here and snug that down. I think I'll do the same. The that. next step is to plug in the speaker to the straight male header, which is on the circuit board here. The next step is to plug in the battery compartment wire to the angled header uh, jack here. Okay, so we're plugged in there. It is time for batteries. I'm getting excited. Okay, the next step is to put the speaker into the jar and put your jar ring on top of that. So we put one end into here, the other end into my iPhone. We'll switch the switch to MP3. Ten of making it, a podcast about making things with your bare hands. Hosted awesome. By me, Jimmy Daresta, Bob Claggett from I Like to Make Stuff, and myself, David Petruto, the drunken woodworker. And before we kick this off, you can, if you listen to the show, and you control the volume with the device itself. As this helps the show tremendously. With that being said, let's get started by talking about what we're working on. Jimmy. Thanks so much for watching today. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I know this is not a woodworking project, it's a little unusual, but I love this little speaker. Such a unique item. I'm going to use it in my shop to listen to podcasts and different things I like to listen to. Probably won't use it for music per se, but other than that, it's a great little speaker. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time. God bless. Please don't forget to subscribe. I also have a second channel, Time with Pine. I'll leave links in the description below. I'd really appreciate your subscription on that too. If you want to check that out, you can go to the link and do so. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. God bless.